AC Infinity has got a quality name when it comes to products for your garden. Whether it's an inline fan or the Controller Pro 69, they've got you covered. They've got a controller that's going to communicate between all of their devices, from the humidifier to the clip-on fans. Regulate everything accurately with the Controller Pro 69. If you go to acinfinity.com, use promo code PIGEONS420, you can get some quality equipment for a quality price. Get the equipment that your plants are going to need and grow some incredible dank. Thank you, AC Infinity, for sponsoring today's live stream. What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Spider Farmer's Supplemental Light Series now at spider-farmer.com. Go check them out, including the Glow R40. Get yourself some supplemental lights, whether it's UVA, UVB. Go check them out. You might not be getting all the spectrum that you need for your plants, but now you can with the SUP series. Go to spider-farmer.com. Use promo code PIGEONS420. You'll save a few dollars off a checkout. You'll get some supplemental lighting, and you will be growing some incredible herb. Use promo code PIGEONS420 spider-farmer.com set yourself up right and you won't be disappointed DeSantis DeSantis is kind of all over the place in regards to where he's standing with cannabis in Florida very frustrating if you guys recall I actually covered the story or I, 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 yeah, I covered the story I didn't, re I didn't report it but I covered it I didn't break it that's the <laughs> way to say um, that uh, that Florida, there was going to be the idea that the vote for cannabis was going to be on a ballot, on the November ballot. Before you even got to the vote in November to, to cast your ballot, DeSantis was already telling you how he was going to regulate and, and essentially l criminalize cannabis and make it dip more difficult for the legal... Uh, industry to take off well he's at, he's kind of doubling down on that he's kind of doubling down on that it seems like he's going on a just an anti-cannabis rant if you will um he went on a um, um speech or on a on a campaign and he was he was quoted multiple times having a discussion in regards to our plant play play the very first clip it is basically an attempt by a Canadian marijuana company to use the Florida Constitution to, to give them an ability to have almost a monopoly on selling marijuana, which is just not the way policy should be done. <laughs> um, the company that he is referring to is True Leave. It is actually a Florida-based company. Its headquarters are in Florida, but it's, it, it is... Um, on the Canadian Stock Exchange, it trades on the Canadian Stock Exchange, and has the main facility in British Columbia, in Canada. And so it's kind of a, it's kind of hit or miss. This news, Jax ended up doing a fact-checking uh, report on his statements, and that's how I got the information in regards to the headquarters being in Florida. The next clip. But it also basically creates this really broad right to, to, to possess and smoke up to, I think, I don't know, some law enforcement have told me three ounces, how many joints that is. Some say 40, some say 80, but, but bottom line. <laughs> but it's a lot of weight. Three ounces. It's three ounces. He's actually right. He's actually right. He doesn't really, it's clear he hasn't done weed in a long time. Three ounces and 40 joints. <laughs> he hasn't done weed in a long time. Um, he's actually right. It's three ounces. You'd be able to possess three ounces, which is like I don't know, 80 joints, I guess, if they're small enough. Um, so, yeah, in Florida, if you go and vote in November on the ballot, you could be legalizing up to three ounces of use. Well, you know, I don't really like it, but I'll just tell people you can't do it in my, in my restaurant or in my hotel. I don't think it's going to be that simple. I think this is written so broadly with no limitations that uh, people are going to assert the right to be able to do this, uh, regardless of what a private... Regardless of what a private, city, or a private business is going to say, uh, essentially in the legislation, it specifically states that private businesses have the right to turn somebody away if they are going 
to, excuse me, to consume cannabis on their property. They have the right to turn people away. So again, I just be very careful who you're listening to when it comes to the source of information or where you're getting your weed, because he continues. In Colorado, they have the biggest black market they've ever had. California has a big black market. And so it's actually led to way more drugs. It's led to more dangerous. More dangerous drugs. He's actually right. He's actually right. Uh, the black market is thriving in both California and Colorado. Why? Because the regulation on the, in the legal industry is piss poor. It's over-regulated. It's under-stimulated. And the product that's coming out of it is is over is overtouched. It's overregulated. It's piss poor. It's, it's horrible product. You can still go to the, your homie, get better weed from a from 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 your guy in a sandwich bag, than you can from most local dispensaries. It is unfortunate, but that's not because weed has become legal. That's because of the way it's been handled on the process of legalization. This is a government issue. Too many hands in the pot. That's the issue. Give the weed to the people. It's a very, very simple concept. Keep it out of the hands of children. Educate the people that are using it. And I think you should be fine. And what do you mean by educate? Well, we should be telling people, you know, you should keep it out of the reach of children. If gummies, you know, they should be up or whatever, just labeled properly, like simple things, simple things. But instead, we get dealt with these ridiculous laws that you can only have so many plants, they have to have, uh, ex some in some cases have to have only so much potency, can only have so many milligrams of, of pro like it's just ridiculous, man. Of course the black mar market is thriving, it's because the government hasn't figured out how to legalize it yet. That's the problem. People say it's, uh, I believe, uh, someone I'm a huge fan of is Jody Emery. Um, she says, it's not legalization, it's prohibition 2.0. And, and I know that's a little drastic to think, but the reality is, is that it's, it's, it's legalization for who? Not for all. It depends on who you are. That's why Manitobans can grow, Quebecers can't grow, because why? They're in different parts of the country. It's ridiculous, but that's what happens when government gets involved in, in, in really just about anything, because they can't grow weed. Anyways, I digress, but that's my opinion. That's the story. I wanna hear from you, regardless of what your opinion is, because it, your, your opinion is important to me, and I wanna hear from you. 